Yes. Once a month. <laughs> Once every six months. Something like that. Okay, so... How long has it been since we played? No one... No, don't, don't bring it up. You're going to get angry. Oh, oh does it Okay, so... Do this. I think this is the right one. Is he doing updates while we're waiting? <laughs> is that an Apple updating? Yeah, it is. It's an Apple date. Okay, so. Previously. It's a sheep block. Mm, what a time to, to cough. So previously, all of you were, with the exception of um, our, our missing member so far, were members or the students of um, Master Illyria, who had an unfortunate... Do you, you guys see that? This weird, like, colored discoloration thing happening. Yes, it's called auto-adjustment. Okay. Are you quite... Are you quite finished? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you can see it on my and as well does the same. Okay, so you you all you all spent some time training with her. She taught you many things about the ways of magic and combat and various other things. Someone's breathing into their mic very heavily. You didn't okay. teach us that much, we're still level one. <laughs> what level you were when you got there. You never like dead. anybody. You, you you hate all of my NPCs. Like okay, so you you attended the funeral and you were given a will which told you that there's a vault at the back of her property which contains an artifact which you need to protect. In order to get into it you need to recover nine tiles from three, three locations. You've been to one of them already. You went to visit Arcaris, the Dragonborn. Please excuse me. Parabor. Um, yeah, Parabor was the town where the, where all the, sta uh, where the, where the funeral and everything took place. We've got an Aaron logging in. Sorry, continue. There's Aaron. Um, Arcaris' home is the uh, Staircase Cliffs, which is to the west. You, you successfully were able to convince him that you knew Master Eloria and in return he gave you the three tiles that he was protecting. You are currently camped at the base of the cliffs and um, the night has passed. So we will resume with the following morning and what would you like to do? Well, we're not wasting any time, so we are going to start adventuring to the next place, which I believe is... yeah. I, oh, yeah. I turn to the party and I say to them, I think to the spider's lair now could be our most, uh, could be our biggest fight of the three challenges in my opinion, but um, maybe we can stealth in and try to get the shards, because it's, it's in the spider's lair, it's not necessarily on the spider itself. I'm more worried about the ghosts, but yeah. To the ghost. Why the ghost, spider? The ghost is still somebody to reason with. It sounds like the, when the master told her stories, um, she mentioned that uh, the the ghost was very loyal to her, and very um, and would not rest because of that until until the master passed away. So I think the ghost is probably likely to be able, we're able to speak to the ghost and say, "Listen, the master passed away. You're, you can go rest now." Something along those lines. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I think we should head off to the the spider's lair. I don't know what you guys um, think. I get up the next morning and say, everyone pack, let's go. <laughs> sure. Yes, boss. Fish. I mean, Pierce, put away the pink panty. What pink panty? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you, you're underway. Is that the plan? Yes. Well, okay, we've so... all eaten, well, after a nice breakfast. You've got two choices. I can give you a route or you can randomly run around and see what happens. Is there a path? Do we see a pathway leading in that direction? Um, it's mostly grassland ahead of you. It's quite a short distance. Do you think we should double back and then try and follow the path or are we just going to try and hike through it? 
would we know if there's a if certain areas are dangerous having lived here for a while would we know that from the master having spoken that like the open wilds are more dangerous to walk than along for instance the lake or something along you, those lines you know you know that pretty much all of the areas outside of the the town can be dangerous but it depends a lot on the time of year and we press the like time it. the shortest route is the direct route I'm with yeah. you for the shortest path we head in the general direction does anyone know where it is because yeah we've got okay, the map so we, I think we know that the map is up there oh did we get the map from a person or something or do we just have an idea you have a map then we are cutting across as the path of least resistance that's the most straight any objections Not for me I guess Warren's gonna make us roll like every certain kilometers you get lost. Yes, shortest path. <laughs> um, I just want to uh, see if you can hear the background noise. Shortest path, Mr. DM. Well, can you guys hear that? Would... Slight tinkling, yeah. Okay, hang on. Wind. Chimes. Wind. Mm. It should be footsteps. Um, so. Sorry, Tariq, yes? No. No, just over the end. Okay. I'm, I'm, getting, I'm walking along. With my heavy crossbow at the ready. Mm -hmm. Okay. I would like to mention that my passive perception is 16. Your passive perception is now 16. Has anything else changed? How did it change? He fixed his stats. Uh, yeah, fixed the stats and has a feet. <laughs> and, and and suddenly has a feet. <laughs> what what were you before? <laughs> uh, well, I was um I have to take the elf to compensate for the poor rolls. Using the standard data, I could use human variance. So, okay. So when when you said uh, I changed my stats, you you changed a couple of other things as well. Yeah, well, you logged in while I was busy, and I said I'm rebuilding my character. Remember? Yes, but I obviously misunderstood. It's not an issue. Um, some of you some of you noticed that in um, the light of the morning, that Pierce's ears don't appear to be as pointed as they were before. You, you it, it must have been a trick of the light. I just assumed as everything slapped his face, must have broken the ears off. <laughs> Wrong campaign. Okay, so uh, as you as you head off into the grassland, um, it's it's a, it's it's uh, early morning. The sun is just cresting the the northern mountain ranges. It's just starting to get to that point where it goes from like the grey light of dawn into into like everything having colour. You can hear birds in in the distance. Uh, let me get my root drawer. <laughs> Your root drawer. My root drawer. Okay, so as you as you're travelling and um, discussing the, uh, the the master's wishes and talking about um, things that you've experienced, you see in the distance someone coming towards you. They don't appear to be in any sort of hurry, but they're walking with a purpose. I would like to stealth. I'm kidding. You want to? Stealth. Just hide behind something. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so... Um, how, how far away is this guy? Or this person? Or entity? A um, couple of hundred meters ahead of you. Uh, this, pers Running. this person Water. has... No, they're walking towards you. This person has seen you, for those of you that, are, that aren't hiding. Um, they appear to be wearing, looks like it might be an animal skin. Uh, as, they, as they start to get closer, you hear the jangle of something on a necklace. You think it might be bones. And that's... I kind of walking back and forth. I think he's pretending to walk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm walking with a quarter staff as well. Oh yes, and 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 the person is leaning on a on a staff. Uh, so which doctor? You have met someone, and the, yes, this is this is uh, Herman's character. That's that's coming towards you. What is happening? Uh, do I, I, I know them because I trained with them. 
Uh, you, or not. you having left the, um, the master's training slightly sooner, have seen them around. You know them in passing. They, they've, okay. also, they've also seen you at the master's mansion. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Evening! Morning! Morning all! Morning! Hello? Uh, please don't tell me I'm late. I'm, I hope that I really am not too late. late I just give what? him a look up and down and say, what is your purpose? Uh, what you're looking at is a frail old woman um, that, well, wears much of the clothing and attire that uh, Spectre has to s describe. Um, the, for the funeral, the funeral for the master, I hope I did not miss it. I came as fast as I could. Came as fast as I could. I pull out my shield and sword <laughs> ready because the master warned us of people that were trying to steal the treasure. You've, you've yeah, seen this. I don't trust you've it. seen this person before. Just by the way, the master didn't say it was a person that you didn't trust, and his name wasn't on the wall. Okay, fair enough. I, I take my quarter staff and I like hold it like this in my up towards you with both hands. Now, sir, I do not mean trouble at all. No trouble here. How how did you know the master? Um, and bombs, we did hear you. If you're asking, we did hear you. We just can't see you. Um, how how did you know the master? And what was the master's name? I too was trained by her. Uh, the <laughs> name seems to escape me. I, I had many different names for her though. Um, none of which were mistress, I must tell you that. No, I had many different names for master, teacher, wise one, the seer um, of the darkness. I'm, I merely ask one, her first name, her birth name. It's in your handouts. It is. I'm gonna have to go reference these handouts quickly. It's got it. Right. It's it. It's not. You don't even have to. I see it. I see it. Um, Elira. Okay. Well, uh, close I enough. Ask you, trust you. Um, you missed the funeral. It was a few days ago already. Um, how how did you know the master? Well, as I mentioned, I have trained underneath her. Um, she helped me to well. Like, I assume she also helped you to focus your um, skills and possibilities. She okay. also helped me to focus my mind and clear the darkness from it. Okay, you said you knew the master, but you still haven't stated what your purpose is. Well, I was on my way for, the, for her funeral, but it seems I have missed that. Well, let me still give your wishes at her headstone. Let's let's have a bit of a remembrance here. Um, at at the at the funeral, we all shared a fond memory of ours with the master. Excellent. Um, perhaps perhaps you could share a fond memory of what happened. I, I knew I knew Warren would eat this up immediately. <laughs> perhaps you could share a fond memory of of um, maybe during your training or something that happened of your days there. I take my quarter staff and I like rest both of my hands on it. Um, Oh, so much, so many. Where do I begin? I was still but a small child when she took me under her wing. Mm -hmm. She taught me, she taught me many things, but the most important things were the things that she did not tell me. Those that I experienced for myself. For uh, one night, I had a terrible, terrible nightmare involved beasts from the underworld, darkness is rolling me, clouds from all around, I was alone, I was afraid, she asked me, Shihiro, child, what do you think does this mean to you? And after, well, I could not tell her, I, I was but a child, I had no idea, it is only that months later that I realized that it was, it was the veil that she would help me lift from my mind, that would help me in my quest, in my coming years. That, that was the time I can remember the fondest. I 
ha- stand around awkwardly because ha- I must not ha- explain have your, myself. Have yourself some inspiration. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Sorry if that was too loud. I like that story. I question why the random stranger woohoo is in front of us. <laughs> Staying in character, I love it. <coughs> woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm, so- not in, I'm not part of it, I'm still. <laughs> but since. You can what? visit the headstone. It is, I believe they're going to bury the mansion. You can go there and give your. We are pressed for time and we have a heading where we have to get to. Uh, you're male, right? I'm running. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's easy. <laughs> Double checking. Because <laughs> I'm about to break. Um, pardon me, kind sir, but would you mind if I instead pay tribute to the man accompanying you in your travels? In your troubles? It does look like you have something of urgent matter that you do need to attend to. And I do remember a vague set of visions that plagued my mind a few days before her passing. I have a feeling that my skills will much more be useful when attending to you and your trials. Warren, just for the sake of this, was his name then on the wall or not? Because that was was uh, the order this oh, person so asked us to come. He 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 le- she'd left before. So like the name right, is not right a while before. But you 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 do you do recognize Sujiro as a colleague, um, and and hero and so on and so forth, like the other heroes that have been trained by the master previously. Fine old lady, if you want to come with, just don't hold us back. <laughs> I believe six <laughs> is better than five. Even I, if the sixth is just cannon fodder. I, I, I slowly walk up to Ronin and I'd like to like reach out and okay. pinch his Before you step, I want a perception roll from you. A perception roll? Yes. <laughs> Wait, that's persuasion, sorry. Uh, there's perception. So you, as, as you're about to step forward, you notice that your shoelaces have mysteriously been tied together. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, same result. I do notice it though. Mm-mm. We lost them. Um... Hello? Uh, I can hear you. Hello. Gotcha. Do sound? We can hear you. Can we clunk that up? <laughs> Seems like we have a few tricksters up our sleeves. I go sit flat on the ground, like cross legged almost, and I untie my shoelaces. I start walking on the path, just continuing. <laughs> just, just for some clarity, is uh, Shijiro, um, I, I, I don't recall, a uh, human? Or elf? Or She does not have pointy ears, no. <laughs> um, I actually wanted to maybe do face makeup, but her face is covered in like ritualistic paint marks. So the, the, what we can gather is we believe she's human, just from the first glance. Mm. She, yes. she, lo- she looks human. Okay. Um, no, as she and sits down to untie her shoelace, I'm just put, seeing, putting the shield and the thing back, and I'm just looking at everyone, and I'm like... Marco? Polo! Polo. Marco? Potato? Polo! Oh, okay, lovely. We lost sound, like, from... Hello? Polo! Taste, taste, potato. Oh, lovely. So you can hear me. What happened? We lost sound. Um, sounds a bit I don't know. Can you hear us? Yes. Can hear you. Okay, so it's working now. Yeah. And you can hear me. Yes. Yeah. Now we can, but we missed it. Mars. Can uh, you hear man? Mars? Can not hear Mars. Can't hear Mars. Give me a second. I can hear Mars. I can hear no, Mars refresh. as well. Bye, Mars. Is test one two? Greetings, Jai Bamble. I hope I said that right. Thank you for joining us this evening. Uh, welcome to the Amateur House Circus. Echo. There's an echo incoming soon. Oh, because he's the resetting. Uh, sorry, sorry yeah. viewers, I apologize. Okay, hello. Gotcha. Uh, two. Uh, okay, what happened? So, uh, Jai Bamble, unfortunately we have a weird issue where sometimes the site has technical glitches and sometimes we lose sound or video or both 
So please bear with us. Hopefully you enjoy the experience. Um, you just missed that uh, Shijiru found out that her shoelaces were tied, uh, dropped to the ground and started untying them. Okay, at that point Pierce gets gets up behind a rock and starts giggling hysterically. <laughs> I don't I don't hear any giggling. Can't hear um, me. No, I can hear you. I can I can hear you. I don't hear Pierce giggling. <laughs> <laughs> that's I not that's, of I have to that, deal that, that's with. not creepy at all. Okay. I, I turn I turn to the party and I say, I've I've got no issue with Shijiro joining us. I'm that greedy. I'm sure whatever we we go to encounter in the masters uh, in the within the master's plan you know, one extra person who's leading this little expedition apparently I me crash was at the front so. bible check please crash is gonna die <laughs> uh, mars you are male yes lysander is right so. thank you thank you for your vote of confidence young man i assure you i do not plan to become can walk and talk. So Ronan, Ronan comes up short in the grasslands, um, turns around to you guys, looks confused. He thinks he's lost. Ronan, my mountain. child, do you also have clouds clouding your judgment? <laughs> no, you I just also need visions. That are busy taking my concentration away. This is, this is humming noise from the back. It's just peering in and changing my direction. I am pretty sure that I was keeping quiet for long enough. <laughs> Not for you to get us lost. Uh, that's your voice what did the master teach you? Is anyone a natural in, in nature? Has anyone got any survival skills uh, who, that okay, would like to try? Uh, who, wants to tr who wants to try and unlost you? I'd like to try. Well, <laughs> step back, youngins. Step back, children. No. Let <laughs> uh, I do not have training in this, but since this is the road I came, I am pretty sure that this is the road I can follow. Is it grey? Yes. Uh, that's a, that's a uh, advantage. What are you running an advantage? Okay, uh, so... Because we get the first one and then I have to click extra button. Tariq. So, T Tariq, who, who is an expert sailor and knowledgeable in all the ways of navigation, is able to figure out... I basically out take the map and I just hand it to her. So is, is, mm. is able to figure out where you guys are. And you've, you've, strayed, you've strayed quite far um, off course there. Can I please have perception rolls from everybody? For sure. No. Uh, I'm blind as a bat, apparently. <laughs> I may have forgotten how to do this. <laughs> okay, so I need to know. Second, second tab at the top. You click on your player's name. Make sure you got your sheet open. Uh, left hand yeah, side, you have all of them. Okay. Perception, perception, perception. Okay, uh, so one of the middle ones, middle-ish ones. <laughs> Oh, excellent. So those yeah. of you who rolled higher than 15, 15 or higher, you come up short. You seem surprised and you see this in the distance. Oh! I like. Immediately take out shield and weapon and tell the people, wait. What's up? What's up? What's happening? It's quite. Yeah, I it's, can't. It's, I can't see what you guys. It's quite see. far away. But he shared it only to them. Yes. Because mm. I want them to explain what they see. Yeah, but uh, I'm saying wait, and let's pull out the shield and sword. I said bolt. Oh, that's and I point that, up at it. That's a bolt. Move. Should, should quiet. we still? Should we move away? Quiet. That, it's it's quite far away. Say no, say, no. say it's about two kilometers in the distance. So you is can it, see. I'm pointing at it. Is it in the direction that we're heading to? Towards. It's um, uh, it's more to the east of where you are. Okay. Oh, in my child, my eyes are not what they used to be. Please, what are you pointing at? 
Okay, and Pierce is it tough. Appears to be. It appears to be. <laughs> Look at the, the lady, the woman to say. It appears to be it's either a blue or silver, silverish dragon in the distance. You came this way, didn't you see it coming this way? Not at all, my child. We must hide. Hide where's the nearest tree? I want to put Lysander in front. Lysander oh, I, I, communicates with dragons. Not quite, but um, I want to ask. <laughs> I want to ask them. Um, the, the people that have seen. Uh, does it look like it's heading in our direction? Is it flying further east? I don't understand. South? I'm pointing at it. Can people not see what I point at? <laughs> I doubt it. Um, Take a look. It takes them. It takes them a while to sort of figure out which okay. direction. Um, so I just want to see something. Is it just hovering there? It's, 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 per, it's heading in our direction. So or it's not? Um, that's really the question. It, it, it's, it's not flat. It's not moving at this time. Okay, let me let me do this. Not for you guys. Um, that we can't see where it's looking because it's small, or is it that we can clearly see uh, where it's looking? Okay, so oh, it's on a rock. After oh, sorry, after I'm after a few minutes, the rest of you are able to kind of figure out which direction Ronan is pointing, and uh, you can see it too. <laughs> Uh, guys, it shouldn't bother us if we don't bother it. Let's head north. That's why he should be in front. <laughs> if that is the call that you decide to make, I will assist you. Okay, so as as you continue your journey, you you do notice that the dragon which you have seen has now taken flight. It is. Oh, we've lost Lysander. Yeah, I just reset. Okay, um, it is it is flying in your direction, but it is not it's not flying low enough to be a threat to you. So it's flying quite high. It's going in a northwesterly direction, and you can you can hear it sort of screaming. Is there? Wait, let me do well, this. Well, is, is it just open field be working, or is there? So as, it, as, as it flies over you. Flies off, then it flies off into the mountains, uh, towards the mountain range. Okay, then we're safe. We're fine. Let's move on then. Okay, yeah. Trying so to keep under the canopy as much as possible. That's grassland. There's no canopy. I pop out of the grass. I'm like, I'm not scared. I wasn't scared. We can take that. <laughs> <laughs> 21 still. Yeah. Okay, so, <laughs> you, your journey towards the, the northern mountains. Well... Tariq is actually leading us now, so it's like... Okay, <laughs> so as, as uh, traveling, traveling along the road, um, you see there's, there's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, stuff on this, on this, in this area, apparently. You, you s it, uh, wait, actually, before, before I do this, it's starting to get dark. Ah, the cover of darkness! This will be perfect to hide from that beast. Should we not find somewhere, if we're in open plains, should we not find the nearest, uh, or somewhere yeah, that is... That's just uh, can anyone see any place that is undercover? That is there any trees, anything that we can hide? Or um, there's a small, cover? there's a small outcropping of trees, um... Sorry, chap, there's just cops outside. <laughs> perfect. Okay. What? Popo. What's happening? He said there's police outside, so he needs to just go check what's going on. Oh. Uh, okay. Oh. Hopefully they're police not coming to him. Uh, I'm told him months ago he's not going to get away with it. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. You, you guys are like, is he Brian? Because he's saying that the chops are outside. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, I heard something that sounded like ops, but I couldn't get the words. I'm like, uh, oh, yeah, what's cool. this? Yeah, that's what I was like, chops. I was like, is he Brian? Not or what? No, no, not for me. Where's your mic? Where's your camera today? Um, it's not working right now. <laughs> that's cool. I guess okay, so we, that's correct. That's correct. What else is using? Okay, um, can we set up camp in the, like, the nearest place that's under some form of cover. Uh, you guys can see the campfires, right? I will let you get yeah. to there before it gets too dark to do anything else. Well, before before okay. you before you'll need like serious light to to do anything. As um, as okay, so the, the the sun is setting. It's getting it's starting to get dark and cold. Um, 
looking looking towards the direction of Parabor, because um, you you have a vague idea of the direction of um, of uh, Lake Maranthi and where Parabor would be. You can't help but notice that there appears to be a large structure that you weren't aware of being in that area. It's it's a it's a tower that shouldn't it's be on there. Our map, though. Yes, it is. It's on our map. <laughs> That's so you know where it is. So there, there oh, so, is. So it's not on. It's not actually on our physical map, but it actually we see it. There. It's not normally there. So uh, so that, as far as you guys know from all the training you've had, that tower shouldn't be there. But there's definitely something that you can see in the distance, as the as the sun starts to to set and the darkness starts to develop. Ah. Well, I believe we head for the tower in the morning. That looks curious. Let's let's, let's go there tomorrow. I agree. I'm a curious <laughs> bunch. What do you what do you think, Shijiro? Let's get out of the dark. Let's go in the morning. Yeah. I am glad you can help me like that because I was just about to follow it. I rip out of my backpack just like a um, rolled up piece of uh, leather, I unfold it, and there's bones inside. Please. <laughs> I need to concentrate for this. Do we have Are a campfire? We have a campfire going. I, uh, I yes. go up to Ronan and I whisper, because Ronan and I have been chatting lots on this adventure. Go up to Ronan and I whisper, I told you, I think she is a witch doctor. <laughs> I think she might be making soup. Maybe it's, you know, bones for her. I'm curious to see how long it takes you to figure out what Shijira actually is. Oh, she's she's covering. She's not. That's not even her real form. I know. Yeah, but, yeah, but that's <laughs> this is not even form. my final yes. form. <laughs> and so the stones are the bones that she's that she's casting. You want to uh, do what? I want to <laughs> throw them with like stones as they land. I want to hit them with stones so they change position. Okay, give but me, first. Okay, so you're gonna have, have to give me a dex a dex check for that. We have dex fire going, back. right? Dexterity. Mm. Oh, my things. We do have fire, right? I need to concentrate for this. Everybody, please, the sit first, down. The I first do stone misses the, uh, the boat. I haven't thrown them yet. <laughs> That's As right, she miss. Says, <laughs> but they will miss. As she says, do we have fire, I need to concentrate. I want to use my um, fire bolts to just uh, just have like more fire coming out of the fire. Like make like stand behind the fire and like <laughs> fire coming out of it like a, like a whoosh. So the the, the, ca the small the small campfire that you have as as you do this goes in like a big sort of tiring inferno, ah. which as I might add is a great move in the middle of a grassland in the dark. One of my spells is who knows? Bonfire, so I'll just leave bonfires everywhere. Who knows what might happen? <laughs> the spirits are communing with us. I take out a, from my backpack as well, I take out a skull that has like a dent in its head somewhere. It, it, it seems to be human-like. It's just the skull I plonk down. I gather up my bones. It's a rare assortment of kits and jewels and metals and little um, clay, clay tablets. I shake them. I throw them. This is where Pierce throws the rock. Yeah, and it misses. And misses. And it misses the tongue. I gaze at you. <laughs> no, what? I grin back. <laughs> I don't I trust them. this old hag. I read them carefully. I close. I like do an entire like um, row eyes back in the head. Ah, yes, yes. Mm, I'd like to do a roll for the knowledge of that tower, though. As much as I'm working for it now, um, will okay. you do me an investigation or will it be a history? Uh, that will be. Um, I can do religion as well. Well, um, are you are you trying to figure out? What, what, what are you trying to determine? I am trying to determine whether the sudden presence of that tower is ominous to our mission. Um. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to word that into a check. Let me give you... See, my, my, instinct, my instinct is Arcana, but I'll also let you do history. History it is. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me so I can reword it. So... 
<laughs> Screw you. <laughs> during during your travels, and you um, know what? I I stay like this and I keep my eyes rolled back and then I do your voice <laughs> during your travels. <laughs> no, I'm telling you what it is. Um, oh, my rewording it's so you've okay so you've you've heard of this tower it is supposedly mm -hmm. a place of great arcane power and knowledge mm -hmm. and you know that only the worthy may enter mhm mm reword with that as you will mm -hmm. yeah. the tower the tower is not for people like you or me. This this is a yes, tower that contains you need to pass tests, tests, yes. There's tests that need to be passed. It's What's inside? It, it's ah uh, it's um well let me just find the word. Erratic magics. It is not of this world. The the magics inside are are manipulated. Oh, well, what makes you believe we're not worthy? What so makes you think we haven't you, done this? You, you know this to be the Tower of Arcadia. Because, Lysander, my dear child, if I am not worthy to enter, I am pretty sure that you are not worthy to enter either. I'd like I'd like to do an insight to check whether Shajira really knows whether we were to enter or not. Okay. Um Well I can roll deception from my side. But I'm pretty sure you're gonna pass that. <laughs> uh, we lost Mars. Oh, you are frozen. No, Mars. This don't be. Is it it's not powering? Is it? Yes, it did it's say it's so. Power. Be right there. So oh. Why are people having double rolls? What has is that an advantage roll? Uh, yeah, yeah they, I don't know. They, um, they don't set their stuff properly. Normal. But just what we to did. Normal. What we did is to configure in our characters to always say roll with advantage, so that if the chance that you get advantage, you don't have to roll twice. You simply just do the same roll. What if you have to roll Warren, with advantage? Warren, and if you roll okay, well, Warren uses the one that's applicable. If it's a simple dice, he uses the first one. If it's disadvantage, he uses the lowest one. And if it's advantage, he uses the highest one. So it's it saves in time. We also have, as an example, if I do shock okay. grasp, I also roll my damage as well. I don't know if you guys already do that. Hmm. Does BRT like mean it was a dip you and it's coming right back? You can kill right three times right over there. there. Yeah, I know, I know what it means, but is he coming back like right now, or what's the story? <laughs> oh, are you asking us to translate what the... No, okay. uh, See? Never mind. Okay, yeah. talk amongst yourselves while uh, setting up camp. Um, Pierce is like harassing Shigeru, wanting to know anything and everything she knows about Harass her. me vocally, I want to do this voice oh, more. No, oh, what about that? Oh, oh. Wait, wait, okay. Lysander's back, continue with what you were saying before you disappeared. Mars rolling to see Are you rolling in the... Yeah, what's in that tower? As I told you, my child, it is erratic magics. Okay, so, so you believe... What that you believe that Sajiro knows about the tower, but you're not entirely sure that Sajiro knows how to get into the tower. Didn't think so either. Um... I, I, I turn I turn to everybody and I say, I don't, I, I, I think you might know about the tower, but I think you may be wrong about whether we're worthy or not. I I think we should see that for ourselves if we want to. I'm still quite interested to go see it myself and see whether we're worthy to enter. I, I, turn, welcome. To, I turn to Los Ander and I say, if we're going to go, we go as a group. And I say for Shiru, is it Shiru? Shihiro. Shihiro. Sajira, I said, you said you were accompanying us, We, if we go, then you are welcome to stay, or you're welcome to come. No, well, I would be joining you, definitely. Um, to answer your question, well, Sand, I welcome you 
prove to me that you are worthy of entering such a tower in such a place. Look at the... To answer your question, yes, my child. Um, I search for a stick lying around somewhere and I snap it. Now see, Pierce, my child. I cast mending. Like nature ebbs and flows through the stick. I make it whole again. These are the nature magics. I snap and I snap again. Now, this shocking grass. Lightning runs up and down the stick and it's like... Oh, I've already figured out the boss, but yeah. These Continue. are the erratic magics that I am speaking of. Well, do you understand? Could be a couple of things. Let's see. No, I'm I'm pretty certain. I guess uh, I look at the I'm rest of the group. Okay, so sorry, what? So basically, you don't know what's in the tower, right? <laughs> <laughs> you could have just said so. Okay. Aaron, have you got? Must I look be at those clouds. Those clouds are coming back into my vein. I cannot see clearly. It also does not help that my reading was interrupted by a fool <laughs> throwing a stone. I, st I stand there trying to clear out my ears and like, it rings, it rings, it rings. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, well, what does... What, want to look at the rest right of the group and I, I, wanna... I say, Lysander, you want to go to the tower? And I say, Pierre, Aaron, Tariq, where do you want to go? Tower. I'm going to the tower where there's without, with or without you. There's magic there, man. <laughs> Might as well be magic weapons. I'm going. Yes, so, I, I, I also want to go along because this tower is black. Looks like it. So, I don't think we must sleep. It is dark. I mean, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, so um, maybe it's, it's magic that happens at night. Because if you look at the color of the tower, it might. Okay, intelligence is not my strong suit, but um, I do no. think that um, maybe we should go to the tower now. I want to well, ask Shajiro, will the tower be there in the morning? Yes, although it has made its appearance quite quickly through the quite quickly quickly in the past few weeks. I am pretty sure, my child, that this tower will be there in the morning. I, should I suggest we rest up, we eat up, and we leave early. It's, yes. it's very dangerous for us to um, not sleep during the night. We've, we've been traveling a full day. Um, be reckless, and tomorrow we could be running uh, fatigued. So in, in the distance, while you are sitting around your campfire, you've got your marshmallows on a stick, and you're swapping stories, you hear your f your friend not not close but you you know it's it's That's still the dragon it's cruising around yes it's still the it's still the dragon okay well, <laughs> yep. still check okay hey camping for the night what do you want to do during yes sir I'd like to take the stone that Pierce tossed into my reading, mm -hmm. though he missed it, I want to pick it up, and I have a small little knife in my backpack, so I'd like to carve his um, initial on it, and then I'll be using ink to like um, increase the relief on that. Okay. So I now have a stone that symbolizes Pierce in the throat. <laughs> nice. Okay, so it's uh, it's camp. You you're settling down for the night. Um, let me. See I if suggest I can... that we take turns staying up, all but PS. <laughs> and Pierce? I I, rec I recommend while we're sleeping that the person who's on watch actively looks out for problems because we know there is a dragon near. Actively I'll stay on watch with Pierce because oh, oh, Pierce is going to get oh, a stone oh, oh, or something to the head I also, and <laughs> not to tell <laughs> I suggest we, yeah, we, we don't have one pick, we take turns and twos. Yeah. Is it possible to to um, to have two people per watch? Yeah. Uh, you have to be on watch for... Hours, not long enough you, you can, okay, so it's, it's eight hours, you can only be on watch for two hours <laughs> at a time if you want the benefits of the rest. Uh, two of us have to take watch on our, on our own. Um, can I make a recommendation that Pierce does do a watch on his own? He has the highest passive perception. 
And I'll just use stealth. And he also has the highest magnetism for rocks to the head. <laughs> but he is stealth. He, he is stealthing, so he's got an advantage. So that's so the one fine. thing. What's the rested advantage we get? Um, you, you, you'll become exhausted rest throughout the night. So we have to rest. Yeah. We don't have yeah. to. We get a bit of no, exhaustion. No, trust me, we have to rest. Let's, let's no, I can do it in that. Although I am old and frail, I would also like to contribute to the night's watch. Tariq, my child, will you accompany an old woman around the fire? Of course, I will accompany you. <laughs> then, oh, I, take, I offer to take the first watch on my own, and then Ronan and Erin are welcome to go together. No, he's staying, uh, Pierre's going to stay up on his own. I, I recommend um, two of us go on our own, and that would be my, probably myself and Pierce. I'm just offering myself. If first watch, two of us, watch one one. I, I, we I don't know the area. I, I want to take the first watch on my own. Okay. Uh, Lysander, tell us if you die. We're going to sleep. Will do. <laughs> Who's taking second watch? No, no one seems perturbed about by ambience, but okay. No, I like that. Can, can, can someone react? To that, time, please. But, but Mar Mars wants to die by a the wolf. Lysander likes wolf. Yeah, that's death. that's something you're hearing. Yeah. It's not part of the soundtrack. Well, we don't <laughs> know that, dude. Oh, okay. Okay. It's all wolves. all animal noise. I think I hear oh. frogs and crickets. It's supposed to be exactly. you're, you're in the grass. It's like tall grass. There should be ambience like around you. I go to sleep. I'm basically still taking my ears. The damn ringing. But damn. Um, is it old? Is it warm enough that we can actually put out the fire? It's starting to get a bit chilly. So you you can probably manage. You're a bunch of tough adventurers. You can probably manage it. Okay, I'd I like to, to start the fire. I'd like to put out the fire, and I'm going to do my. I'm going to start the first watch. Okay, are you going, uh, Lysander, you want to watch alone? Yeah, I'll watch alone for the first watch. And I'm okay, actively looking up. I'm look actively looking up for wolves and, and dragons and things like that. <laughs> and I'm... <laughs> this is a sentence and, I thought I'd never hear. Yeah. I'm going to keep a watch out for I'm wolves staying, and dragons. I'm staying, near, I'm staying near the party as well, so I'm not too This is far the person who couldn't spot a massive blue dragon on the mountain. It's fine. That's, it's okay, fine. as soon as you see something, start the fire. Okay, we'll so yeah. okay, so the the, the, the night starts. Um, Lysander's on watch. Um, not a lot happens while you while you're on watch. You feel in in the quiet of the night. Um, there there are no clouds. It's a completely cloudless night. The stars are above. There's no moon. You feel sort of a a pulling, a pulling sensation. Not, not, not extremely noticeable, but it's there. You've noticed it, and it appears a to be pulling is in a physical yeah. pull or like a mental you, you pull. Like you feel, it's like a physical pull, but it's not strong enough to actually move you or anything. You're aware of it's. You're aware aware that it's there, and it appears to Who's be coming. Doing second watch. I don't know. Guess who's doing second watch? And, no, okay, watch. And, and it appears to I be wake coming, up here and it appears to be coming from the west. Uh, how long have I gone into the into the rest? Um, into the watch? This this is about halfway through. Halfway through. I wake up Aaron. Hello. Um there's something wrong in the west there. Won't you won't you help me with the rest of my half watch? Um and then you, you can do a half watch with the next person as well, possibly. Um, there's definitely, I think there's something wrong in the west there. Let's just both keep an eye out. Alright. Okay. <laughs> okay, so you, 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 you're not going to explain why you think so. You're just going with, he just believes you. Oh, okay, That's well, awesome. Explain. There's some, I feel like there's a physical pull. Um, something's physically pulling, pulling me in that direction, and I'm not sure why. I think Lysander's a bit nuts, but I'll entertain his... Aaron, Aaron does not feel that sensation. I go. Okay, cool. But um, I'll do it. So, Lysander's watch ends, you, you bed down for the night. Um, well, just before I go to bed, I warn Aaron and I say, um, let, let's...
the I, I, I hear that you don't feel it, but let the next person on watch know that as a magical you... I can't hear Mars. Can't do you hear me at all? Give me a second to redo it. <laughs> Can you hear me I'm now? I'm also going to re-log my... Marco? Polo? Here. Polo? Oh, okay. Polo? Okay. <sighs> now i got to wait for Aaron to come back on. Well, it shouldn't be too long, all right. hopefully. Okay. I'm, I'm going to say this once and I'll say it again. I'm going to tell Aaron, in essence, that um, as a magic user, I feel the pull. I don't know if it's just me. But um, let any other magic user, so in other words, pass on the message as the watch goes. There's a pool to the east, to the west. It was the west, correct? Yes. Uh, let all magic wa users uh, be wary and just sense if you feel the pool too. There we go. Uh, Hello there. Okay, so um, you're, Welcome. You, you, you give your message to Aaron, you, you bed down for the night. Aaron, nice to see you. Aaron continues the watch. Now we just need Shajira. Shajira's there. Oh. Oh. I am right here. <laughs> Is there something wrong? Okay, nothing out of the ordinary. What was that? It's Aaron. Who's it's Aaron? Aaron. Like that? What's the chip monkey? Your mic is broken, you chipmunking. That's just not just me. Your mic sounds like a chipmunk. Um, <laughs> could this be because he was maybe... I thought it was just my side, I didn't want to say anything. His webcam's mic that was broken. Hmm. Mm -hmm. That all the police broke something. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Yes. Okay, right. Am so, I chipmunk still? No. 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 Great. Okay. So for for a brief moment, Aaron felt like all the trees around him were getting larger and larger, and then everything was suddenly back to normal. <laughs> Um, okay, Aaron's Aaron's watch passes without much out of the ordinary. He, no, he doesn't see anything, doesn't hear anything. Um, who's up next? I assume he passes on my message to the next magic. I user. don't know. <laughs> who's next? Because he wasn't he wasn't online for me to give him the message. No, no, I heard, I heard. Pearson Ronan. Okay, so do you pass on the message? But anyway. So, so who's next? And Ronan. Ronan's next. Yes, He's holding Ronan. his hand up instead of saying something. Oh, okay. All right. Next ma Ronan. magic user. Ronan, say um, something. He didn't say. Oh. Ah, uh, there you go. Okay. So yeah. So before I go to sleep, I tell Ronan of Mars's straight things, which I do not believe, but to keep his eye on the west. Um, so he, and, as he tells me, I want to do a divine thing. Okay. So I cast Divine Sense just to see if there's any evil presence within 60 feet of us. You see nothing. I look at Pierce, I'm like, I'm not Pierce, I mean, I look at Aaron, I'm like, maybe Lysander was wrong? Yep, that's what I figured. I'm gonna go to sleep. Okay, so, Ronan. Can I please have a perception check from you? Pierce is also awake, eh? That's fine. There's two of us awake. That's fine. I want a perception check from you. Perception. Um, where are you keeping the hilt of your father's sword? In my belt. In your belt. Oh. So, in, 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 the, in the extreme darkness, because now it's probably about midnight at this at this time. So in in the extreme in the extreme darkness, you you notice that there appears to be a glow coming from your belt where you keep the uh, the, the, the 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 broken the broken hilt of your of your father's sword. Take it out and I inspect it. Something. Okay. So as as you hold it up, 
in the in the in in the starlight, you notice something unusual happens. So where where the hilt and the broken blade is, the sword appears to be whole. So the rest of the blade appears to be sort of a translucent silver colour. But the sword appears to be in one piece at this time. Almost like a stained Almost that like looks like a full sword. At this time, yes. See if, if it's trying to touch it, see if it can bend and break. Your, your hand passes I, I look through... At Pierre, I look at Pierce as well and I say, does this look like a complete sword to you? Uh, am I awake? Uh, yeah, you... With me, we're on... <laughs> oh, we're, do, I see this, do I see it as well? Yes, you see it as well. It does indeed! So as, as you try to touch the the trans semi transparent translucent piece of the of the silver blade your hand passes through it oh that's creepy but yes to answer your question it looks like a full blade where'd you get that it's my father's sword but it was broken maybe you should try it on something not me <laughs> go to the nearest tree and see if i can just lightly cut it of the blade straight through the tree the the broken piece of hilt the broken piece of blade that remains at the bottom is still still functions so the the sword currently operates as a dagger so it's a 1d4 plus plus your yeah so it's a dagger dagger stats in can anything? i see if there's anything magical about this thing um, how do you want to do that uh arcana check okay Wow. So you you haven't heard of a sword like this before, but you think that there might be a book in the master's library that could give you more information. Like Ronan, did you check the master's library about about things like this by any chance? I don't tell many people about the sword. So that's a no. We should check back there. We're probably in back there at some stage, and we can see if there's anything in there. If you're curious. And can you also? I, I, I want to make it an in check, but you're probably gonna fa you fail that. Um, I will fail it. Minus one, but it's fine. <laughs> do it. Do it. Okay, give me an in check. I'm a bit empty. <laughs> no, not not a save. It int check. Uh. uh... Three. Good enough. Okay. So, so looking looking at the blade as you as you see it now in this translucent form, a a word comes to your mind. Merano. Do I know what Meran that means? I don't know, do you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you said I've got an intelligence check, so... Okay, so, you, you, okay, so this, this word has sort of popped into your head. What do you what do? You do? Uh, do I need to read my own back backstory again? No. Uh, what, might one, what, what, <laughs> might one, what might one do with a word in your head? Write it down. I write it down. You're gonna write it down. I make, I make that, a note. That's what I my uh, sleep I'm I turn, Well, I'll turn to Pierce and I ask him. Well, I say the word aloud. I'm like, okay. Miranor. Finally, we're making some progress. Do I know anything about Miranor? Um, give me an Arcana check. And okay, so as you as you say the word Miranor, the broken piece of the blade starts to glow. Oh. It's about as bright as a torch. So, Mirinor could be like the action like activation word of some property of the weapon, could be a person, maybe a name of the book you find stuff about it in. Pierce, you think you've seen the word Mirinor somewhere before, but you can't remember where. It's on the tip of my tongue, I've heard this before. <laughs> don't think about it, maybe you, you know, maybe we... Okay, is there anything, is there anything else you guys would like to do? 
before you watch it. I turned to Pierce and I said, if you've heard of the sword, do you know what material it was made out of? Yeah. Uh, you can't remember much. You, you, just, you just know you've seen the name. You, you don't even know if Miranor is the sword. You've just seen the name somewhere. Just the name, I'm sorry. I'll have to think about it a bit. Can't recall anything about materials. I save a word again, Miranor. Does it switch off? <laughs> um, I stare in my sleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll make it. We'll make it easy to operate. So yeah, the the blade goes dark. But tomorrow you could ask that crazy woman. Maybe she could throw bones and set and and figure something out. Maybe you can ask her. And my ears ring every time she talks. <laughs> <laughs> But just to be sure, does the voice actually hurt your ears or is it just you? That's, <laughs> That's fine just me. me. I'm I'm okay. it's an old lady voice, so I'm acting annoyed with the voice. Okay. <laughs> I'm like <laughs> <laughs> Sure, I'll take with you. Okay, so I'll, I I stow the sword back into the, the belt and I carry on with the watch. Okay, so your your watch comes to an end. Um it's wake up at sort, of, and it's sort of creeping towards two o'clock in the morning. As, well, I wake up obviously, Tariq and uh, Shira, and then as I wake up, um, Tariq and Shira, I was like, have in, just by the way, before you go and watch, have any of you seen? And I really shake the old woman. Get up. <laughs> Jesus, I'm over. awake. I am awake. What is wrong? Oh, damn it. So, obviously, I say the word again, and I show them the sword. <laughs> Someone's phone is ringing. Oh, I thought that's the sound the sword makes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a, no, sorry, just, yeah, it's a Nokia sword. For the rest of, uh, uh, they're, uh, they're, they're waking up the next them. people. Okay, oh, so dead, okay. As I wake them up, I basically also just pull out the sword. And I say, Mira Nor. Eh? What's that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, we, uh, oh, that's a phone call. <laughs> I'll mute them for now. I'll mute them as well. Okay. So I show them the sword, and I'm like, Mira Nor, have you heard of it? Do you know anything about it? So, and then I explained to them, this was my father's sword. It was broken. I'm trying to figure out what it was made of, but I didn't know it had any other properties. Yeah, so you can May both. It, you can both. Man? If you, you you can do our corner checks if you want to see if you know anything about this. Ronan, my son, may I? Would you mind if I hold the sword? I'm reluctant, but I hand over the sword slowly. I I handle it with a lot of um, respect. T Tariq's never heard of this thing. <laughs> <laughs> and I cut my hair. <laughs> It's put a bit feel the matter. This, do you have a lot of spiritual connection with this? Yes. All I know is that it was my father's, and I don't know what it is made of. I feel the metal with my fingers, or or feel the metal. It's a pretty sword. Well, hilt. There's only a small piece of a blade sticking out still from where it broke. Just, just, just remember, you can use it. You can use it as a dagger if you if you want to at this stage. I'm investigating it. Oh, wow. oh my goodness! Give me that! Give me that! That's not an arcana check, but we can work with it. I was feeling the hilt for like what it was made of. So yeah, feeling the man's sword. <laughs> I was feeling yeah, a shot. <laughs> okay, so so inspecting inspecting the hilts of the sword, you see a very faint sort of impression of a symbol in the in in the hilt itself, which appears to be I show it, it, it appears to be an eight-pointed star. I show it to Ronan immediately. Have you seen this before? No, my father died when I was still a child. It, but, it's but it's, extre it's, it's extremely it's, it's extremely faint. You'd have to look to to spot it. There's it's something like a. Um, I take out my um, my notebook and my and my ink, and I try to it in a larger form. <laughs> no, it's not the eight-pointed star of chaos. 
Um, I, way. I, <laughs> I, I have to sketch it in a larger form. Okay. Um, okay, I've got a note of this. Thank you for the trust that you have earned me, and I have trusted you back. You may take it. Uh, the word does not sound familiar to me, and I am not familiar with these metals. That well, you can try. Me. You can try Arcana if you want. Hmm? I am hey, not that it, trained please. in Arcana. Warren, am I up? Apparently you uh, are. No, Aaron's asleep now. Okay. Nice. <laughs> yeah, you're like, I want to see that thing. <laughs> okay, you. so you've you've also heard of the word. Um, you remember you remember seeing a book about magical artifacts in the master's library, and you you think you you think somewhere in there you you come across this word before. Tell you what, when we get back to the master's library. I will walk you towards the book that contains the information for Miranor. It is... That is all I have for you at the moment. I am so sorry to my son. I couldn't help you anymore. Now, please, get some rest. We will take the rest of this watch. Some action. Uh, do, do bear in mind, the, the other the Dragonborn mentioned a pull towards the west. We didn't feel anything, but he did ask us to pass on the message. On the mention of a pool, I'm not a I dragonborn. Like... I'm actually a human. I Go. told them as well. I, I did a, I did a divine sense, and I didn't sense anything in sixty yards. I of was, us. I was wondering, I was wondering if that was going to come up again. <laughs> to the <laughs> waste, you say. <laughs> I said, okay. I think maybe voices are ringing in everyone's head, so yeah. maybe people are hearing and feeling things they shouldn't. Neither of you feel anything. Okay, I'm looking towards that black that I can't see. <laughs> I go to sleep. <laughs> okay. I wave the, them off and this, I go back to sleep. Mm -hmm. During this, um, Tariq, my child, do you have a little bowl for me I can use? Yes, I have a handy dandy rucksack. That's a sailor's backpack. Bear in mind, it's currently pitch black, so there's no longer any light, and it's starting to get very cold. So we should make a fire to keep an old woman's bones warm. I like that idea, and to keep any uh, danger, uh, so that we can see danger. I am sorry to get confess to this, my child, but I cannot see a thing in this darkness. <laughs> okay, uh, I have something. I might have something. Let me just scrounge around in my uh, dungeoneer's back. Do I have a flashlight or a candle? Um, tinder torches and tinder box. I have a tinder box with and torches. So mm. I light a fire. I mean, I use it to, to make a fire. <laughs> back there. <laughs> And with that, <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you joke, just, you just, just, just quickly, Screw just quickly, out of character. Um, I was showing him some stuff that I had planned last night, and, he's, and as as we were finishing off, he's like, "And with that, and I'm, hey, here it is." <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> my favorite's my child. But yeah. Okay, so okay, um, the sun is starting to peep up. From uh, from the east, um, in the distance, you can make out the a sort of fog rolling over Lake Maranthi. You can see the tower just sort of starting to appear out of the darkness in the distance. Um, and and as as the time passes and and the sun creeps higher into the sky, more and more detail becomes apparent around you. Before we go there, um, that bowl I asked Derek for. Oh yes, I fill it with a bit of water from my water skin. I cut my right hand and I want to basically infuse the blood with magic so I'll be casting shocking grasp there and then drip it into the bowl um, I then sit and watch the positioning of the blood does it like shift west or is it simply just cool so first and take then, take one point of slashing damage I will do that and the bowl, the, the 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 blood in the bowl doesn't react. Hmm. This 
were to the waste that they were speaking of, I think they might be illusionating things. <laughs> illusionating. Like one percent of our hit points, or ten percent of our hit points to figure that out. But now we know. But does it count as a full rest well, because then he gets his hit point you, back? Well, you don't know anything. Oh, this is this is the end of the watch. That was the end of my rest as well, so I don't get it back. But I'm okay with it. Okay. Um. The 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 sun is rising. It's a it's a new day. Let me. I'm expecting you to play Minecraft Sunrise now. <laughs> Always Teletubbies. <laughs> what kind of DM do you take before? <laughs> A cruel DM. So during during the night, um, while each of you slept, you you dreamed of the master, and of your time at the manor during your training. It was not the same dream for all of you. You you each dreamed of. Sort of your interactions with the master. You you remember how she was kind to all of you, but quite stern when needed to be. You remember the training, the rigorous training that she put you through, and the the wondrous in in Lysander's case, the secrets of magic. Um, the um, and 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 Chijiro, uh, the rest of you, the sort of varieties of weapons and all the marvelous things that you could do, and you awaken feeling very optimistic and refreshed for the for the journey to come. You are all now level two. Ah, okay. Okay. That was, that was very quick. Well, you were about I ten. You were about ten XP shot. And uh, and uh, ten. Uh, I mean, uh, hit points also increase now. Uh, yeah. This this is. I, I I need to do things before you move on. So this is going to have to happen now. Okay. How do you do this? Uh. Okay, are we level two? Um, yes, so that's a call it a 10 minute break to sort out your levels. Okay. So it's a D10. Oh, yay! Okay, I need some guidance now to do this. So you'll, you'll roll a hit die. Hit die. Yeah, so if you click the word hit die, it's sort of in the middle on the left there somewhere. Mm. Cool. Awesome rolls. Oh, there we go. I'm 24. Whee. Okay, so that's how much extra HP you get for the next level. You'll change your level in the top right from 1 to 2. And I don't know what fighters get at level 2. I think it's second wind. Second wind, yeah. And action search. And action search. Uh, he had action. He had second wind at first level. So already. it must be action surge. With oh, second, yeah. he get action surge one use. I'll nice. read it. Okay, I don't know how this works. Okay, so all I got is health. Is that all I get when I level up? What are you? It's a fighter. Fighter. Okay, so you get your action surge. And do you know how it works, or should I read it for you? No, actually, no, no. I, okay. I don't know what. How do you get it? How do I? How's it become mine? Oh, just just it. put it into your block on the right hand side, your feature skills and traits. Okay. Okay, so I've got I've got second wound and I've got action search. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so I think it's once per day. It's, so you would say you would say I'm using my action surge and then you get an extra action once per day. Okay. And that can be to do anything. Attack again. Disengage, to charge, or like any of that stuff. Yeah. The second wind is for health, right? Yes. Like you get like a, yeah. It's like a heal. If I don't, if I don't get one shot by a rat. Darin yes. gets a full hit die next time, yeah, next roll. Next. Fun, make a note. Okay, so while you guys are doing that, um, I'll be right back. So when you level up, you get nothing else. You don't get any more strength, dexterity, all those such real. Oh, no, yeah, no. And with level 4 you have the option of putting a plus 2 into a single attribute or a yeah. plus 1 into two separate attributes or a feat. What's a feat? <laughs> feet are special abilities that... Beautiful toys on page 
165. Yeah, let me open that list. Yeah. Sorry, 165. Yeah, I was, I, was, I was gonna say it's a little bit further in. Yeah, 163 to 165 is a little bit further. This threw me off. I wasn't expecting us to be able to get spells at all. I'm, I'm actually a little caught off guard at the moment. Well, I've already prepped mine. <laughs> I don't know. So I'm on page 165. It says what is. I'll change the I'm getting, so that's only late. Uh, can we up on it? Uh, a little further. The next page has feet right in the middle. Okay, yeah, I've got it. Okay. There's a list of things. But okay, I see. Don't rush with them yet. Because you can only take them at level 4. Yeah, I'll read that. I like to report that with cunning action, I no longer have to stand still. Okay, how are we doing? Thank goodness. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out spells. Sorry, I wasn't expecting this at all. <laughs> but you knew you were almost leveled. Uh, no, but I didn't. I didn't think you would give us the level tonight. I thought we'd have to rest and all sorts. There's, there's a reason we for it. Um, yeah, still a couple of things. I still don't know how to add a weapon. <laughs> I've added a whole bunch of blank weapons now. So I picked up a dagger a while back, and I still don't know how to do this. Here, let me help you. Ba -ba 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 -ba. You are Iran. You want oh, a man, dagger? It doesn't have divine, divine smite as a thing. Yeah, so actually, I'm... Drop it. Okay, so in your... So... Okay, so you... Okay, let me just take it out of your inventory <coughs> quickly. So, in your in your equipment at the bottom, you add a line. Then in the S, search for dagger. And then you... Equipment. Drag, then, yeah, so then when you drag it onto your equipment like that, you'll see it appears on your... Oh, it's just... Okay, okay now I don't know what that's just... Uh, it's, it's just done it again, but you'll see the daggers appeared... At the top there. Okay, I did nothing there. Just saying like. Alright, okay, but now it's there. Dagger? Okay, so every time I get a weapon, you can do it, thanks. <laughs> no. Okay, um, so let me take it. So let I me click, take I it. The, pl the, pl the plus button. Okay, so first let me take it off the list so you can do it yourself okay, and learn. Okay, so you click the plus okay, button. So you click the plus button on equipment. Yeah, and then it makes a blank block. Right, then you go search on the little information thing for dagger. What information thing? Uh, little at the top right, the little eye. Okay, yeah. Uh, okay. And then you drag the word down onto that blank slot that you just made. Okay, so it's just blank dagger. It, it'll give you like a little yellow line to show you that it's gonna drop it in there. Sweet. Okay. I don't know why I put two. Oh, no, so then twice again. It's fine. We just just click the little lock and delete the the one of those. Okay, so now you have your dagger. Cool, okay. Hmm, my music appears to be broken. I can hear it. Oh, why can't I hear it? So how many experience points should I have right now? Um, it will be... Whatever level two is, I think it's. Are you in a moment? It's not nine hundred. Three hundred, isn't it? Uh, three hundred. Okay, so you'll have three hundred XP. Thank you, kind. Cool. Okay. Are we ready to continue? It's okay if we're not. Must listen. Must listen. Uh, it's now the morning. Uh, everyone's, gonna... everyone's waking up. It's the morning now. Fetch water. Actually, that's a good idea. It appears I have a particular track that's broken.
wow, that's a mighty big glass you got there, Warren. <laughs> I don't fuck around. <laughs> that's a 750 mil. Me neither. Do you want to see how close I am to my first you're filling up? I must say, I'm quite glad I put the effort into setting up the soundtrack thing because I, I I like it quite a lot. Mm. Whoops, we're very um, life like. <laughs> Well, you didn't have to deal with them then. This is an awesome song. Actually, I need water, but I'm good to go be right back. I'd like to speak to Lysander when he comes back, okay? Oh, as a, as a fluff note, as, as soon as the song was, was just starting to peak out, Spears was already packing up and making ready to take the tower. Pretty excited. <laughs> So, so you see, you see a tower, and all of a sudden you're like, "Fuck the quest! We're all over going over there." It is a that very interesting tower. Open, yeah. mm. Push the back button. How much XP um, are we on now? On three hundred. Three hundred. Three hundred. Okay. Yes. All right. Can I wake up and ask, ask what happened? Oh, sorry. Old hag talk oh, first. Well, Lysander, my child, during my watch with Tariq, I did some investigation. I cannot confirm that there is a pool to the west that you are speaking of. So you didn't That's feel that. it either? I did not feel a single thing. I even did my studies. It is clean. Mr. You... DM, did I feel it? Do I still feel it? It's very faint. Less, it's, it's fainter than it was during the night. In fact, you wondering if you're imagining it. You might be suffering from a case of <laughs> mind cloud. And I reach my scraggly out towards his skull. And I back off slowly and turn to everybody else. Did anybody else have anything weird happen to them during the night? <laughs> Pull out my sword. I said, it started. <laughs> so, when, when you, when you, when you, take, when you take the sword out now, it's still just the broken... It, it's the, the hilt with a piece of broken blade. Nothing, nothing interesting about it. I and turn to Aaron word straight after me and I ask, did did anything happen to you? Sorry. No. Uh, nothing happened. So as you, okay, so you, 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 you want to say the word, which is? Mirinor. The, the blade does, in fact, start to glow. Not as, not as brightly as it did last night. It's about a candle flicker of, of brightness at the moment. And then I say Mirinor and I play the blade again. There's something strange about this place. Ronan, when the blade glows, do you feel heat? No, not that I'm aware of. I was <laughs> How would you know? Oh, this reminds me. Uh, while I was looking at the blade last night, I saw the following. And I take out my book with a little sketch of the eight-pointed star of chaos. <laughs> uh, can I, can I Aaron, do an inspection on that symbol? Do I, does, does the blade feel warm to You can do arcana or history, depending on what you want to try and figure out. So I'm doing investigation, does the blade feel warm to me? No, you don't, you, you, you can just feel it, it's, it's not warm. Um, feels like a blade. I'll roll history on that. The symbol because I haven't rolled on it yet. Ugh. I'd like to aid in that because I'm also slightly involved. Yeah. <laughs> slightly involved. <laughs> uh, what, what is happening? Bless. Wait, sorry, I'm just trying to see. Okay, so it's not on your core sheet. Damn it. You guys I just on? want to check if I recognize it. Make a make a history or arcana roll. 
heck is history? Oh, con, eh? Oh, con is on what? I watched it, but okay. Yeah. So, n none of you... None of you remember having seen the symbol at any stage in your in any of your travels or teachings in the past. None whatsoever. Okay, so, so the sun the sun is starting to rise. You you've had a bit of a chat. Um, does anyone else want to say anything? I, I what probably should have looked at it as well, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it. Please look at it. I didn't have a look at it. I should probably have a look at the symbol. Um, what did you say, Arcana or history? Yeah. Ronan, you uh, saw a dragon yesterday. Is the beast still around? Uh, take a look. Okay, <laughs> so, so to, the, to the best of all of your knowledge, none of you know what that symbol means. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're a bit, of, a bit of a dunce bunch. <laughs> Could it, oh, I don't see the dragon anyway. Especially that guy. Okay, <laughs> so, so Ronan, Ronan does not hear or see the dragon at all at this time. But I, it, I, turn, I turn to Tariq to focus on the blade. I turn to Tariq and I say, Tariq, any chance you wanna you wanna try to lead us again? Uh, okay. Yes, what are you uh, running? I will do that. I will lead us. I've got a ranged weapon of 120 feet. Yes, what are you running for? The, ca the cannon. I was uh, checking the safety of the area, including the dragon. It's a, it appears to be quite a quite a calm sort of grassy area that you're in you you don't you don't see anything that puts you at unease or hear anything okay so right let's uh let's get you underway i'm still carrying my um handy heavy crossbow at the ready the cannon the cannon <laughs> How are we how are we feeling? We're all having fun, enjoying this so far. I feel so much so much more survivable than last night. It must be correct. <laughs> <laughs> Anti power, I'm telling you. I appreciate how well you received Shahiro. After what That's happened to Zelay, it can't get any worse. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were going so to the tower. Got skewed, uh, oh, wait, wait, that's there. a good point. Where, where are you heading? To the tower. tower! To the tower. Oh, okay, no. you're going to the tower. Yeah, Just and Tariq... Sorry, I've Tariq said she would lead us. Drawing the wrong thing. I, I stopped Tariq. Tariq, my child, can you see in the grass? There is a red path of blood that is being spelt for us. Follow the path, my child. Oh, <laughs> okay. Um, I'm so mad. Yeah. I don't have to think. I can just look around and see. <laughs> okay, so if you see the, without your eyes, the, the tower. The, so the the tower <laughs> does. Uh, oh, fuck. So, okay, so uh, you you're heading towards um, Lake uh, Lake Maranthi. You've all you've all been on the lake before. During the the, tra the 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 sailing training and and swimming training at the at the, uh, the uh, as as you as you start to journey towards the tower, it begins obviously to get bigger as you as you move closer. The outside still appears to be quite quite a dark substance, and on on the road you see this gentleman. Which one? Oh, this one. Oh, this one! one. <laughs> <laughs> Gandalf! Gandalf the purple. Okay, so you, you, are, you are heading towards the tower. This person doesn't really appear to be going anywhere in particular. He's just kind of standing around. He, he sees you. <laughs> he sees the front stealth roll. <laughs> Now, 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 my young friend, no need to hide. You must answer me the question of the other side. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite color? <laughs> Do I remember him? Uh, you haven't seen him before. Okay. He looks like Shajiro with a beard. <laughs> <laughs> what 
What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I walk up to him. And I basically say, do you know about the tower it came from? Oh, the tower. It is quite interesting. Have you seen that before? Can we just get the introduction? <laughs> yeah, it's fun. Who, uh, who are you? <laughs> who, who are you, mysterious stranger? Because that's oh, what you'll be called. Oh. Tell you tell us your name. Who, who I am is not important. Where do you come from? That is not suspicious. From uh, the black tower? I, <laughs> I come from here, I come from there. It's... I'm... I'm... I'm a man of many, many homes. Master, is that you, previous campaign? Continue. <laughs> <laughs> I don't that I'm gonna inside check his ass. Okay. Yeah, I would keep going in the inside check. I don't, I don't trust him you, at all. You believe him 100% as far as you're concerned, he is telling the truth. <laughs> in fact, I stand closer and listen to the wisdom from his lips. So far, all of you have no reason to doubt this, this uh, mysterious stranger. Uh, can can you tell us this uh, about this black tower there in the distance? What? What can you tell us about it? What would you like to know? Where did it come from and where does it go? Those are both. Oh no! Interesting questions. Uh, let me do. This. So I, I take it you, you have interest in the tower. Yes. It's um. Its appearance is at an odd time. Our master is gone, and all of a sudden there is a tower. It seems. <laughs> that, tower. <laughs> that um, that tower has always been there. And and what? Inside? I guess I that, please. Okay. Finally! He's telling the truth. If that tower's been there always, how come we've never seen it before? Some kind of camouflage, mirage, something hiding it? Have you travelled this way before? Didn't you tell us that it wasn't? Yes, we have. As, We've far, as, as, far as you know, that tower is not supposed to be there. Yeah, but our map didn't have the tower in. Okay, then misunderstood. Okay. I like where you guys were going with it though, that's cool. <laughs> Persuade him to tell us his name. Okay, so we just oh. give it a try. What is your name, furry friend? I'll tell you <laughs> yours and I'll tell you mine. <laughs> I believe that bear is wearing people clothes. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking at the name. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I have I have I had part of his name. I, I wanna I wanna flesh it out a bit. Um <laughs> you you wish to know my name, that's all right, I suppose. I Our. am of Arcadia. Gavin. Davin. Gavin. Davin. Oh, Gavin. Sure. Gavin. With a D. Gavin. Gavin. Because Gavin just doesn't suit this mysterious stranger. <laughs> <laughs> Gavin. Like Gavin. And then Gavin. Yeah. But has he told Maybe us? a bit of a devil. <laughs> and, and who might you, Binge Bunch, be? Well, uh, my name is Tariq, and these are my fellow adventurers. They've introduced themselves now, and we're on the way to this tower, and we want to know about this tower, who's in it, and what magic is in it. I put my head in the hand up. I'm Aaron, student of Laria. Mm. Just because I want to be flashy about this. <laughs> I shocking <laughs> grasp my hands and draw it across my staff, much like the sorceress in Diablo. I am Shihiro, and I channel the spirit of my ancestors. <laughs> as you I to roll my eyes check. <laughs> as, as, I don't need to roll that. It rolls by itself. As, as, you, as you do that, Devin reaches I clasp, his I clasp my ears and just go, I'm running. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
<laughs> so as as you do that, Davin sort of snatches like he reaches his hand out in a in a snatching motion, grabs the lightning off your staff, closes his fist, and releases his hand, and a bird flies out. Ooh, she's found a soulmate. <laughs> yes, that, that is some impressive magic right there. This is the looking to, uh... thing I warned you about. <laughs> Even be here. Anything, any chance you could uh, teach me a trick or two? Tricks I have plenty of. Magic. What is magic? Ah! What is magic? Baby, don't hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> but it's love. <laughs> well, so what, what brings the six of you? out to this part of... Where the hell are we again? <laughs> uh, I stepped back. Parable... Uh, Miriam Vale. Miriam Vale, thank you. I, 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 I lost, I lost it completely. Like... So, <laughs> the, what, what brings you out to this part of the Vale? It's quite far from Parable. We're, um, we're on a personal quest uh, from our master, our, our recent deceased master, and um, mm. we saw the tower in the distance that we had never seen before. Um, but... Is your quest to go to the tower? No, we just... That's our side quest. We, we had, we had <laughs> never, <laughs> never seen this before, and this had never been mentioned to us, and our master was quite well known in these lands, so we, we're a little confused as to uh, why this is not on any map we've ever seen before, so we thought we'd go and look at it um, and, and, and see, you know, how this came about. We just find it pretty curious that something of this magnitude has has not been mentioned in the town of Parable. Oh, it's, it's a curious tower and a curious stranger. It's good to be That's curious well. in this day and age. Would you know anything specific about this tower? I know many things. Is about it safe to enter? Many things. Well, that is, is something you will have to discover for yourselves. We, our friend here, Shijiro, believes that we might not be able to enter the tower. Would, would you know if there's any phrases or anything that we require to do before entering? The tower is a strange place. It is different for everyone. Ah! Ah! I like that! I told you! I told you! <laughs> do any of you perhaps so, remember the name of the tower? You never told us the name. Yes, I did. No, he, he told it to me, but I didn't really get it to you. No. Um, because there was a history no. check done on the tower. It was real quite high. Okay, so if you if you I guys can... Believe, I believe it was something of Arcadia? Yeah, it's the Tower of Arcadia. No, he, came, he comes from Arcadia. Exactly, so he comes from the tower. <laughs> So as as you were busy squabbling amongst yourselves, you you turn around and the stranger is gone. I knew it! I knew it! I knew this guy was from the tower. Well, that's convenient. See, Pierce, this is the erratic magic that I have warned you about. <laughs> it was you me that you don't know. It was me distrusting you as well. I I'm keen for the challenge. I say we head on. Let's get in there. This man I was agree. clearly part of our challenge. Okay. This man is clearly crazy. So you I look at the group and say, we've made a decision and we'll follow it through. If that is your choice, I will be with you. Okay, I'm going to let you guys decide. You, you, you're you coming up to, to the lake now and you can see... To the tower. You can, no, you're coming up to the lake. You can see the tower is standing on a, on a small island off, uh, off the coast of the lake. As you, as, you, as you start to get closer, mm. you see the tower seems to be made of sort of a black marble. So it's not, it's not like uniform in color. It's got sort of white streaks and things on it. And, and if you think of what marble looks like. But it's, it's, so it's very dark with a few white